stones. Beautiful. and welcome back to my Cobra and a very exciting day. Today I am meeting up with the Petrol Hedonism Club to start promoting their supercar live event on the 18th and 19th of September. So we are heading down to Nebworth House to do a big photo shoot with a selection of very special cars. So I'm bringing my Cobra down, obviously it's a kit car, it's a Dax, but I'm not a millionaire guys. And we are meeting up with a selection of million pound cars, let's put it bluntly, there's going to be Koenigsegg, a few Ferraris, loads of supercars and very special cars, so we're going to drive to Cobham Services to meet up with Zach's Garage, who's going to bring a couple of nice treats for you, and then to drive down to Nebworth House for a bit of a photo shoot, so it's going to be a bit of a behind the scenes day, unfortunately my car is not as clean as I usually have it, because I drove it in the rain the other day, I had to actually erect the roof, which is the maybe third or fourth time I've done it in the whole time I've owned this car, in the four or five years I've had it. So um, that wasn't pleasant and I haven't had a chance to wash it after then, so it's a little bit grimy, but I think when I take off some pine needles and bits and bobs, it will look a bit more presentable. I mean, if the photo shoot is with a selection of cars, stand back, it looks fairly clean. There you go. So we're going to hop in, drive down, meet Zach and have fun. And the exhaust gets quite dirty and hot. Got to be careful of that. So I'm hoping to be early. So uh, let's get on with it. Ah, well, nothing says good morning more than a large and loud V8. So. tank in this is about 90 quid with Shell V Power 99 so it's a 70 litre tank I think I think that works out about right but I don't think I've ever got more than 90 quid in this car so it's 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 thirsty but it's it's not a Lamborghini counter. Now the trouble with filling this car up is not only is the filler so inboard in the car so it's easy to drip on the bodywork but the line goes like that a little bit you can't hold the trigger all the way down so kind of halfway down otherwise it splashes back and goes everywhere which it did the other day which is annoying. So it does take a little bit longer to fill up because I can't squeeze it the whole way. So I didn't fill up all the way because I realised that fuel was 164 a litre or something ridiculous like that. So save the pennies and the pounds will save themselves. So we're now going to join the main part of Cobham Services and wait for the convoy to arrive because we are 40 minutes early, which I'm never early, so that's fantastic. Ah, oh, there are two here already. Okay, I'm not the only early one. Oh, what is that down there? That's a Ferrari 250 replica based on a BMW Z3. So I've parked up with some of the chaps over there. We've got about half an hour to wait until Zach and the convoy arrive. I'm going to have a little look at this um, Z3 based kit. So it's like meant to be a 250 short wheelbase based on a BMW Z3. They actually make Cobras out of the Z3 as well, still with its straight six engine. Interesting to see one. I've just heard the unmistakable downshift of a Lamborghini Countach, here we go, and the Honda NSX, looking really nice. Ah, right, there's a Bugatti Chiron, we have a Bugatti Chiron, the 48 piece that is behind the Chiron, that is beautiful, black with the blue details, blue brake calipers, tan interior, a Bugatti Chiron has turned up with the Countach and the Honda NSX, and of course the 488 Pista. Well, I did not expect to see a Bugatti Chiron today, but here we go, my Cobra with the Chiron, not bad for a Tuesday morning. Oh well, we are now convoying with a Bugatti Chiron, Honda NSX 488 Pista, Lamborghini Countach, Lamborghini Huracan, Spyder 991 Turbo. So, it's gonna be a good day. These aren't all the cars, we're gonna meet cars at Nebworth House. I've got a Bugatti Chiron in front of me, but I think everyone's actually going to try and get behind the Chiron for obvious reasons. 
There's a guy revving his Mercedes Sprinter trying to join in the party. It's all good fun. Oh, how's that for a sight? All I can see is just supercars. So there is a route that we're taking to Nebworth House that everyone's got plumbed into their sat-navs. Of course, I don't have a sat-nav. I don't even have a cigarette lighter in this car. So I need to keep up with the convoy. Otherwise, I'm getting lost. I know the rough direction, but I might have to just fend for myself if I get lost. So you've got Kuntash NSX Pista Igo Chiron Huracan 911 Turbo. That's a song, isn't it? I am ecstatic. Oh. Oh, what, what a sight for everyone else. I love making memories for other people to see as well. It's always nice to be part of someone else's memory. We've got the revving Mercedes Sprinter behind us filming. <laughs> Nebworth House in the Cobra with the Bugatti show on behind us. That was a very windy, slightly wet, but very enjoyable convoy down to Nebworth House. It was about an hour 
just over an hour we are driving down so we've got a few more cars that are joining us today for the photo shoot but I think the real star of the show is the Chiron but I think Zach's Vergara is being traded down soon as well so we should get that as well next to the Chiron will look very cool I'm looking forward to getting pictures of my car next to the Chiron in fact there you go seeing cars like the Lamborghini Countach and even my Cobra albeit a replica on the road with the Chiron and a big supercar convoy on tow. Must have been incredible for all of the passers-by. I like how the Huracan spec almost matches the Chiron. You've got the similar kind of interior colour. The blue is a similar kind of blue. And then black, well, actually this is like a really dark carbon blue. You can see the weave in there. The option to have naked carbon fibre on a car is more than just not painting it because you have to make sure that the weave lines up. You probably can't really tell there, but lines up perfectly. So I know Lamborghini charged about 300 grand for that option to have it not painted. So God knows what Bugatti charged for the naked carbon fibre. Loving the chrome wheels. Really nice with the blue calipers matching the Bugatti Le Mans French blue details all around the car. And then in the Huracan Spider, we've got a bit of forged carbon on the air vents as well. In, as I said, a similar kind of blue to the French blue on the Chiron. We've got the pearl white, it's kind of got a bit of pearl on it, but the white Honda NSX, NSX FU, and then Zach's 488 Pista that we've driven with a few times before. Didn't get to see much of this on the way down, but here it is at the back of the line of amazing cars, of which I am part of, which is fantastic. I can't be more happy with that. We've also got the A45 Corvette Mustang MR2. We're going to have a look at all the rest of the cars once we're in, because we're going to be taking some lovely pictures to advertise the Supercar Live event at Nebworth House, which is on the 18th to the 19th of September this year. So the first part of the day, we'll be filming some rolling shots of us entering Nebworth as part of the promotional video for the event. <laughs> you got your serious filming face on, haven't you? My resting face. As if you're getting wet, mate. <laughs> it is raining, but it's okay because humans are actually born waterproof. So I shouldn't shrivel up and die, so that's good. The rain doesn't help. Oh, the Mustang's putting its roof up. That takes five minutes for me, it takes 20 seconds for him. Oh, this is a weird day today. So we've got Nebworth House just up there. We're driving down the roof, being filmed by drones and cameras. Everyone's loving life. I'm an American convoy, Trans Am, Mustang behind. The Chiron is behind him, you can just about see. Here we are. I believe we're now parking in front of the house for some photos. So we're now parking up in front of the house. The Chiron is now next to be parked. So the Chiron will have the pride of place right at the front of the lineup of cars for very understandable reasons. We're still waiting for the Krinozek Regera to make an appearance. How's that for a lineup? Ah, here we go. We have the Koenigsegg Regera of Zach's Garage finally arriving for the photo shoot. He's going to park up along with the Bugatti Chiron. How's that for a sight rolling in? Hello, weren't you in a different car earlier? There's two of you. There it is, the Regera rolling through. So here are the two stars of the show in less than ideal conditions, but they still look great in front of the house. The two carbon blue hypercars next to each other, the Bugatti Chiron and the Koenigsegg Regera. Well, in true Great British tradition, it is now pouring with rain. Oh, are they hailstones as well? So I've put the tonneau cover on the Cobra. I might have to erect the roof again for the way home. So the cars are parked up, they're looking great. So let's see all the beading on the bonnets. That's something you like to see. So here is the Chevrolet Corvette C2 Stingray. We've got the McLaren 600 LT next to the Mustang and the Balboni Gallardo. Yep, it's officially hailstones now. Ice is literally falling from the sky. British things. Well, now that the rain has subsided, we've got a couple of new arrivals. We've got the Liberty Walk BMW i8. And if you remember a recent video of mine, he was with the Liberty Walk Aventador. So another astonishing supercar for the day, the green Lamborghini Aventador with a Liberty Walk wide body kit and a large spoiler on the back. The FI Fireball exhaust.
So we've been drying off and prepping down the cars for the photo, so I think I should cue a bit of music for you to have a real look around at some of the cars that are on display. Tell them stop it, it ain't good for y'all In my city, I'm like Dennis, you know I'm a boss So we're now clearing the area for photos to be taken of all of the cars that are here, but most importantly, remember, everyone loves a white chaser. <laughs> but here is the money shot as the Regera and the Chiron roll out between all of the other cars that are parked up, looking absolutely stunning. I'm actually about to get run over, so I should probably move in a sec, but that is beautiful. So to give you an idea of the scale of the Petrohedonism live event that we are looking to put on, that we are promoting today, this whole field will be full of supercars, classic cars, modified cars, everything that you can think of will be in this field up to Nebworth House. Sonosphere Festival is actually hosted along here, if you're familiar with it, or it used to be when it was on, and we're going to fill this with some astonishing cars, so we're promoting it today with our collection that is just as mixed as you would hope with the M. R2, Ferraris, Lotuses, my Cobra and hypercars as well. So 18th to the 19th of September this year is when the Petrol Hedonism Live event will take place here at Nebworth House. So we're just getting ready to end the day with a few more lasting drone shots to conclude this epic lineup. But from the day at Nebworth House, that was pretty much that. So we're all gonna get in our cars now and drive down the slip roads to leave Nebworth House and we're gonna be photographed and filmed as we all roll out. So we're gonna drive together. My uh, GoPros have run out of battery from the drive down, so I might film, who knows. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights about these meets that I go to and behind the scenes photographs from them. But for now, thanks for watching. Oh, what a scenic route this is. Beautiful!